Hello everyone, this is Prashant Tripathi and uh, in this tutorial we will be discussing what are the prerequisites of ethical hacking with Kali Linux. Let me introduce myself to you, all of you guys. I am a software and web developer and uh, I also am also a security researcher. I find bugs and patch them. I protect organization from outside threats and uh, I secure websites. I find bugs in different different softwares okay so in this lecture we will discussing what are the prerequisites of ethical hacking I assume that you must be knowing what is operating system what is what are networking basic networking concepts and programming languages web servers you must be knowing what is Linux what is Windows how to install Linux how do you install Windows but I, I would prefer you to kindly install Kali Linux or Parrot Security OS in your operating system because all the tools what I will use here in this course are available only in either Kali Linux or Parrot Security OS and uh, you must be knowing what is VMware and VirtualBox VMware and VirtualBox is used to virtualize the operating system uh, virtualize the hardware okay so a separate hardware a separate hardware partition is created on which a new operating system can be used suppose I am using Windows and I want I, I want to use Linux simultaneously like a program on my Windows operating system okay so I can install VMware or VirtualBox and then I can use Linux on my Windows system simultaneously like uh, you you run uh, Google Chrome and uh, you run VLC media player so in the same way in the same way you can use Linux operating system while you were using Windows operating system okay so that's called virtualization technique and uh, I assume I also assume that you must be knowing what is virtualization what is operating system what is Windows what is Linux what is the difference between Windows and Linux okay so uh, what is our next uh, prerequisites is uh, general IT knowledge okay so what is general IT basically I we can say that general networking knowledge okay so basic networking concepts like IP address subnet masks TCP IP OSI model LAN WAN these are the very basic concepts if you don't know you can you can uh, search on Google all these concepts are available on Google and, and if you don't understand what is all these things I will be available for you this is my mail ID basically and uh, whenever you re need you are required you can send me your queries okay I will be there to answer your question Prashant Tech Hub at the rate gmail.com and Facebook page this is our Facebook page where you can go and like our page and you can get the latest uh, information of uh, whenever we will post new video we will update it on Facebook okay so we were discussing what are the prerequisites of our course <coughs> general IT knowledge we, we were discussing general IT knowledge so what are functions of switch router firewall access point etc and you must be knowing what is DNS domain name server DSCP SNMP ARP net HTTP, FTP, Telnet, RDP, SSH, POP, SMTP, SSL, Network. So, you must be knowing all these things. But uh, don't worry, I will discuss a little about whenever FTP part will come, whenever we will try to hack any FTP server, I will discuss FTP in short. Okay. Whenever we will try to do penetration testing using Telnet. Okay. So, I will introduce Telnet in very short okay so don't worry we will be discussing all these things I only need that you know what what is computers what is operating system what is IP address and but I will also discuss all these things IP address in very short not in depth. I will go okay you must be knowing what are programming languages I assume that you have coded some website or you or some software for you can understand you could understand how payloads are written okay <coughs> suppose exploit it is found in 
exploit is found in uh, any software or website you must be able to write the payload for the same exploit and uh, for web development basically these languages are required html very very basic language to design the web page javascript to to make that that web page in action actually and php for server side programming uh, html html we will be using html but not in uh, very depth we will not use in very depth we will use javascript basically javascript for cross site scripting okay cross app and uh, php for server side programming to write exploit as well we can we will use php okay to write payload or tools required programming languages are perl python java c++ and as well as php to write payloads okay to write payloads or tools these programming languages are required but not to learn my this whole course you can learn without knowing all these languages you must be knowing what are web servers how web servers functions how codes are executed on on so codes basically server side programming when php is coded and is stored on web server how it it is executed on web servers and is is served to the user or client how web server interacts with database server what is database server database server where data is basically stored okay S many companies have some data for their website so they in so they connect their websites to the database server so uh, when you open facebook.com what happens your request is sent to facebook.com web server okay and the facebook web server returns some data okay what is that data that is html html page and there is a whole facebook is made on php basically but php code is executed on uh, server web servers which which are of uh, facebook and the php code returns the html page okay so so we were discussing uh, what are databases so when uh, uh, you open the facebook.com you enter some login and password that login and password is being matched from the database server the request is sent to the database server and database returns whether it is true or false okay so if the password and id our matches with the database server the database server returns true okay and uh, i have written here very good knowledge of sql queries i don't think that uh, sql queries will be i will be using here to write um, to do some sql injection kind of attacks but yes you must be knowing what are sql queries for you could write your own queries to do sql injection in the other websites okay uh and that's all uh if you have any queries you can mail me prashant tech hub at the gmail.com facebook fan page facebook page basically third party brothers official this is our username uh, thanks for watching this video we will discuss about the introduction to information gathering techniques in our next lecture thank you goodbye have a good day